Well, this looks like a horrible mismatch, but there's 180 TV to go on, so it's not so bad. Oh, he's got 240 to go on, so it is, it is that bad. Oh well. Um, a wizard. <laughs> Ah <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Three garden a mighty blow. <laughs> what a fucking joke of a game. <laughs> it's just what is even the point? What is even the fucking point? Ludgrip would be a good shout here to win. But, um. Yeah, so then do it. Sure hands is better in it, sure hands and tentacles. Pretty good. Ooh. Thank you, pardon. Thing is if you limit the T V difference too much no one gets games. Really what they should have done is <laughs> They should have had the naff ladder. But then I've got the naff ladder and don't play in it because there's no fucking prize money, is there? And there's no, there's no one playing in it and there's no prize money. So, unfortunately, when one league has people playing in it in prize money, it's going to be pretty fucking hard to get anybody to play in a different league, isn't it? I would love the naff league to, to like to just play in but it's just hard isn't it I guess I've got to make the effort of fucking spin for half an hour to get a game well I imagine if the 500 euros and the champions cup and everything was all in, in the naff ladder that would be amazing it would be so much better than it is now Or BB Snot. Yeah, exactly, J5, yeah. Yeah, and then there would be two. There'd be the open for the... Open for people who like the building. I mean, I like the building, obviously. And it's it just makes everything better, doesn't it? When you have a player who's fucking scored 100 touchdowns, dies, it's much more meaningful than a random fucking dude who chills and a good mighty blow at the start of the game. No, don't hard. If they go a lot of elves go one side, then they can just get banged on. Basically, I, he doesn't have a witch elf, does he? I thought <laughs> it was more important to guard against the witch elf. But he doesn't have a witch elf, but even then, it lets you react either side, and uh, he's mostly just going to be he's going to be attrition blitzing. 
anyway. There's no real there's no real need to cover the sides. If he goes down the sides, he'll have to score early, probably. That's the thing, isn't it? If he goes down one side, he's probably, I should be able to force him to score. So I'm not bothered if he goes down that side, down one side or the other. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy, isn't it? Three blocks, no removals. Fourth one. Surely this must be a cast. Surely. Holy shit. He does have more guard than a fucking dwarf thing. <laughs> what an absolute joke. He's got a mighty blow blitz every turn. He's got three guard. <laughs> Oh god. Worst possible matchup. <laughs> oh god. Wow, that's tempting the fireball, isn't it? That's actually tempting the fireball. Holy shit. I can blitz his mighty bow and get lucky. I could blitz him and then base the ball. Herp derp, base, base, base. <laughs> Three on him is good, isn't it? To see of lawns. It might as well be a bar fight, nobody knows each other. Uh, well, of course, he can just two dice because he's got a million guard. He's just got infinite guard. It wasn't so clever, was it? Nah, I'll not know that. And the team would have looked really good compared to the TV 1800 Orc team if I'd just had the jump of Claw Palmer as well. That was, that was the only difference. Really. Alright, he's just going to score. Great stuff. Yeah, I guess I guess so. Dagger the yeah, the yeah, the American chaps aren't very good at football. I think yeah, that's true.
Yeah, there's no such thing as bad luck at all. Yeah, now I can bash him. Until, until all of his guys have Blodge and Guard and he has a mighty blow and I don't. And I don't know. Not the best start ever. There are two Americans that play this game. He isn't called Mitchell, he isn't called Mr. Catch. That's good. I might have put the beast man in front of him, but then didn't. Yeah, 2D in there. We don't know what team to make for this, though. Now that a wild card for Nurgle's possible, I might go for the Nurgle.
<laughs> That's a good free. Canadians are more Canadian than Americans. <laughs> Mighty blow getting the stun. Hold him. Do I fish for a power against the guard guy? I guess I do. No, <laughs> oh, got it. Greed rewarded. Unbelievable, Jeff. Oh my fucking god, click on the fucking square, you cunt! Jesus Christ. Well, it depends, Dagger High. It depends who you play, doesn't it? You know, if you only play shitheads, without being harsh. <laughs> if you only play people who were very new to Blood Bowl, very new, then obviously you'd be lucky to be matched against them. Or if you had, t if you were never TB down, you'd be lucky to not be TB down. So, you know. But yeah, obviously, basically, twenty you know, is almost impossible. If if the if your opponents are all like it's lucky just to not face somebody competent. But if they were all completely incompetent, twenty you know, would be pretty easy. Now, if they're all new to Blood Bowl and just don't understand how assists work and stuff, it's it's quite reasonable to go twenty you know, isn't it? Uh, should we should be back in uh, January? Uh, BB snow. Start the terminal. One dies power. Don't mind if I do. I don't think he had to do this. I don't know. I don't know really know why he did it. Because it was just a one dice with block to crack the line. Gonna concede.
<laughs> Maybe he couldn't handle the one dice power that was all that was needed. And a push would have still, like, facilitated the extra blocks. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, he, he only even got knocked down a bit. There was nothing. There was no Apo usage. There wasn't even, like, there wasn't Kazas. There wasn't even KOs. Lude Grip got star player, fair enough, man. Good good MVP for Gaudi Garon. Two AV breaks. <laughs> that was so fucking bizarre. Holy shit. Wem dope. That was fucking weird. Deserve victory. <laughs> yeah, maybe at the go somewhere. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's just something came up in real life. Yeah, that's true. That seems quite reasonable, actually. Because there's people that like that don't care about conceding, do they? So yeah, maybe that was it. Yeah, something came up in real life. That seems reasonable. Right. Um, so it could go up the 10th, but I guess there's no need until after the next game because it might be able to buy an inducement like, like the amazing uh, thing. I didn't actually. I don't actually have my opponents muted since since you bleeding hippie. I didn't. I didn't remute after I after I unmuted against you. So um. So, yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, uh, I still think it's good to have two loners for the next match, and then get both back so there's no loners or. Buy three, so there's twelve. I'll buy one next game, so the so get about sixty k for the next game, then buy one, and then buy the other two to go up to twelve at some point. But uh, yeah, it looks it looks like a not so bad record anymore. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.